Wheeler Hall where many students and different organizations have gathered to protest Ann Coulter being on campus. There's a large security presence right in front of all the protesters. People are holding signs and protesting against the Trump administration. Coulter had planned to come to Berkeley two years ago, but she pulled out last minute over security concerns. This time, masses of protesters showed up in an attempt to repeat history. We can't just be ignoring fascists, otherwise they'll never be challenged. The point of this protest is to challenge them, to let them know that they are not welcome here anymore. So what do you have to say to counteract the argument that free speech is necessary, she has a right to be on campus? To that we say, free speech only goes so far as speaking about ideals and speaking about policy. But once it transgresses to the point where you are inciting violence against communities, that is hate speech, that is violence. And culture has said that immigrants should be shot at the border. She has said that the El Paso shooting at the Walmart a while back was immigrants' fault and not the fault of the fascists that committed the attack. but as you can see there are a lot of protesters blocking the entryways into the event. Uh, I have my two tickets. I don't really know how everyone else is getting in. I had to jump the barricade to even get to this point. What would you have to say to some protesters arguing that what she has to say is hate speech, not free speech? They're going to have to look up the uh, exact part of the U.S. code that involves hate speech because there is none. In the United States currently, we do not have a hate speech law. But that's not what Ann Coulter is going to do. Ann Coulter is not going to call for violence tonight, unlike my friends behind us. She is going to be sticking to the topic of immigration and focusing in on why it is such an important issue for the right moving forward. If they want to combat that, uh, other than violence that we're seeing out front, if they want to combat that through a civil disagreement inside, we absolutely welcome it during our Q&A period. I'm inside Wheeler Hall right now. They actually changed the location of Ann Coulter's speech last minute. They're playing jazz music, which is a stark contrast to the protesters and riots happening right outside the door. The guy that's with me too, he, uh, he both hated you. The media was only allowed to record during the Q&A session, not the main speech. Coulter centered her speech around how the U.S. needs to stop accepting certain immigrants. No, we don't want any criminals. We can choose whomever we want. It's like. Um, okay, your refrigerator, your food is all gone moldy. When you go out to get new food, do you think, well, screw it, it's all moldy, I'll just get some moldy food. No, you can get any food you want. She brought up the wall along the southern border with Mexico. How about we create thousands of high-paying government jobs building the wall? Provoking one member in the audience. You are a fucking Nazi! Some would say her most provocative joke was that Muslim refugees are rapists. She went on to say that their religion teaches them to kill Americans. When a Muslim woman in the audience questioned this generalization, Coulter defended her statement. Obviously, I'm not saying all Muslims are going to kill us. My point is, if a very few of them do, I mean, look at what this country has been through. There was 9-11, and there was the Pulse nightclub, there was the Boston Marathon. She also emphasized the importance of hearing both left and right-wing opinion. Part of the reason I, I do love giving college speeches is that I often would be the only conservative students would hear in four years of college. In the end, receiving a standing ovation. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's 10.30 p.m. and Coulter has just finished her speech on immigration and there's still a lot of protesters outside barricading the doors. Let's see if we can get out of here. I'm Perla Shaheen reporting for Cal TV News.